Oh, hi there. It's me, Alan. I'm not in Texas. I'm actually in the Zero to Awesome Northern Arctic Testing Grounds, where we are testing whether or not I can survive a couple days of skiing. Anyways, I'm not currently working on the bug, but I was right before I came up here. So let's take a look. That is the to-do list. It's a little lengthier than I would think. And I actually have about four weeks until I relocate to my new place where I will not have space to work on the Volkswagen. So Midlow needs to be driving in four weeks. Good luck. Update time. Driver side sliding seat rail installed with the exception of one foot. Passenger side tilting seat rail. Old ones cut away, new ones are ready to get bolted in. Tomorrow night the seats hopefully are going to go in, going to weld up the brackets to mount the fourth little leg on the seats and maybe take it for a spin? Probably not, no. That wouldn't be safe, it's not a windshield. Do we need a windshield? So the hood is zip tied on. There's no windshield. Do I need to put the steering wheel on? The headlights work though. And there's some seats in. So let's go for a ride. Steering wheel goes in the car. Is the hood not gonna blow off? Put a zip tie on it. Oh, okay, good. Oh, yeah, that's not allowed. You could just coast down the hill and pop the clutch. Convenient battery It's access. convenient not having any windows. You can actually go to any window and see what's going on. I mean, not the safest as far as not having things stolen. Well, it's not good for rain. Yeah, it's too close. Whoa, whoa, break, 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 break. You're gonna, you, you, you're gonna go into your Jeep. So what do you think? That was successful. Yeah. It's uh, open air. Just, oh, you know what? We didn't have the steering column bolted on either. Oh, we well, don't really need that. Think of all the performance <laughs> we could have had. Actually, look at the column. Look, it raises yeah. it. I don't know where those bolts are. <laughs> Today is a day of the week, also known as bug day. Hmm. You may have seen earlier, the seats were installed. We were even driving around. One of the seats was supposed to be a slider, the other seat a tilt. It'll tilt about an inch, which isn't cutting it. So this seat tilts. And Alan does not want it to tilt. He would prefer it slide, like this seat slides. So we're gonna make it slide. Juno's gonna supervise. Hi Juno. And today our workbench will be the stairs. Well, today's project changed a little bit. It went from installing seats to custom fabrication of metalwork. So we're going to hack up a tilt seat to fit a slider slide and hope it works. It might stay together. This is a freshly painted Volkswagen inside. The metalwork gets a little messy. So welcome to my sidewalk metal shop. continue my story, I was once a wee young lad, got metal in my eye, so can I have those safety glasses off your head? <laughs> but what about my eyes? Oh, uh, you know. 
You're just so good. Mine have already been hurt before. He's doing all the hard work. I'm just watching. In fact, this makes me parched. Hello. Hello. It's a popsicle, man. Want one? We've gone from the fabrication part of the metal shop to the finishing and polishing portion of the metal shop. Oh my god, for custom fabrication? Beautiful. This, in theory, is the last of the turd brown UPS brown paint to go away. I am not gonna miss it. So, behind door one, we have the original, I don't know what we call it, blinker lens cover, turn signal indicator device. Behind door two, we've got a clear one. Clear ones are on European bugs, amber ones are on US bugs. I like the way this looks a lot better, and this is old and crummy fawn part. Trash can. Problem is, these aftermarket clear covers do not fit with the OEM original lens cap things, roof, lid, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to do a little finagling to make this and this be friends. Well, today's adventure is going to be a good one. This vehicle was designed, I don't know, 30s, 40s. Electrical system isn't too advanced, but over the years, it's had lots of crimps on, crimps on, tape on, wires on, jumpers. It's basically an electrical nightmare, electrical mess. So I thought the easiest thing to do would be to order an entire new wiring harness. It seemed easier online. For the record, taking the Volkswagen window apart was, I would say, a lot easier than putting it back together. Through screws, clips, bolts, there's multiple pieces of glass, multiple hinges. So let's spend a little time and see if we can't get this back in one piece. Maybe we can go up and down. Driver side quarter window, passenger side quarter window. Replaced the inner seal, which was very exciting to get in. Re-riveted the glass back in the quarter window. Got some new mounting hardware to put in the top and the side because I, well, I lost the original bolts. All that's left is to glue in place the inside felt channel and then insert this bad boy into the door. This is called installing the windshield. Actually, this is called watching the windshield get installed. Alan is currently off gallivanting around the country, as young men these days do, but unfortunately for him, two things have happened that have created the perfect storm of events that are going to be kind of bad for him. Number one, he left me his car. Number two, he left me a unicorn sticker. So if you put those two things together, that turns into me relocating the unicorn sticker to somewhere inside his car. I'm not gonna do it on camera, cause then he'll know where it is, but um, go, go unicorn bug.